Hey there fans, welcome back to our channel. And uh, today we've got another action figure review. We've got another Gargoyles action figure. This time we've got the one and only Elisa Maza. Now I don't know if you guys have heard the rumor mill, but uh, apparently Disney uh, has a Gargoyles series, I think it is, a live action series in the works. I'm um, not really sure how I feel about that. Just because live action series don't really have a big budget like a, a movie does. So um, I guess we'll wait and see what happens. But uh, but nonetheless, uh, let's go ahead and get into this particular action figure. Again, these are made by NECA. And this is Elisa Maza. She's the human friend of the Gargoyles in modern day time, right? Uh, she accidentally befriends them uh, during an investigation into David Xanados's I guess building or castle or whatever and she stumbles upon them she actually uh, meets them by surprise and she's taken by surprise so she steps back and she steps off of a ledge and Goliath actually manages to jump down swoop catch her and glide onto safety so uh, pretty pretty cool pretty neat pretty nifty but let's go ahead and get into this particular toy here nice artwork and as you can see here it's pretty much the scene that I'm talking about, right? She's she's snooping around because she's got the flashlight, and Goliath here is uh, looks like he's in statue mode. Statue mode, excuse me. Um, so I mean, not entirely accurate, right? He would be actually alive, or maybe he's just so dark that he looks like he's in statue mode, and she doesn't realize him. But anyhow, cool illustration. We've got the logo, we've got the name, right? And uh, I, I really do like this here, where opens up and you've got the figure inside right she's got multiple faces multiple heads and she comes with a little cat and I think this cat is uh, I think it's a stray cat that she eventually takes in and then I don't know if you could see it in the back there but uh, uh, Brooklyn's uh, folded wings come with this particular figure which is really nice cool thing about Lisa Maza she's awesome character really loved her in the show very smart very brave very tough um, you know, and, uh, you know, definitely, um, the Gargoyle's best friend and, and most trusted ally. Her heart's always in the right place, always doing what's right, protecting the innocent, right? Cause that's what a cop does, uh, you know, detective. And, uh, like I said, she eventually gets a, uh, a partner, uh, Matt Bluestone, who likewise, uh, make an excellent pair and, uh, they just go on a bunch of adventures. So, uh... Going on back to the back to the box you got here, nice uh, image of Elisa Maza. Again, she's holding the flashlight, right? Got some image in the back, and as you can see here, the things that she comes with, the accessories. So we mentioned it already. We've got the cat. I don't know what the cat's name is. I, I completely forgot. It's been a while. She's got her police badge, which is awesome, or I should say her detective badge. And then we've got, <coughs> excuse me, all the characters that have been released so far, and we've reviewed some of these already. Some of them I didn't because I bought them before I started the review. Um, but uh, we, I think we've done Demona. I think we've done Brooklyn so far. Um, and, uh, and we've definitely done the Steel Clan. So uh, knocked out a couple of these. Uh, again, on the side here again, she's got her badge. Same image that we saw in the front. Maybe it's a different image, but nonetheless, still the same thing. Nothing much up front. Nothing much underneath. Uh, actually, remember the, the the people who were involved. This is I really like this. I like who who was involved in making this product. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. All right, let's go ahead and crack this box open and let's check out the figure. All right, so here is Lisa Maza out of the package. Great sculpting by this figure uh, on, on this figure. I mean, she's got the the blue jeans, the skinny jeans curled up here um, at the cuff. Uh, the boots, the jacket, I mean, this is exactly how she looked in the cartoon series. A really nice uh, figure. Nice sculpting. You can see the detail in the hair. Really nice. Um, not a very tall figure, but that's because she's a human being. And she's supposed to be smaller than the gargoyles. But really, really nice. I really like how uh, she fits in. Really uh, cool looking action figure. Really excited to get her. Reason why is because she's such an intricate part of the Gargoyles storyline. I mean, again, she's in modern day times, right? The Gargoyles are from medieval Scotland. And so she is their liaison, if you will, into the new world. 
uh, you know, the you know the city of New York City and so on and so forth. So really nice piece to collect the um, uh, to finish off the collection actually. This is exactly how she looked. Again, light blue jeans, red jacket, dark black hair. Love the character. Amazing character. So, uh, again, th this cartoon came out in the 90s. She, her mother is uh, from African descent, and her father, if I'm not mistaken, is Native American. So, when you, you know, it, it's, it's, again, it's one of those things where you, you hear the stuff that's going on now and, and all the diversity and so on and so on. We've always had it. We've always had it. This is living proof that we've had these types of things. So early, you know, going back even before the 90s. But anyhow, uh, awesome, awesome figure. One of my favorite uh, episodes is actually when she, when she actually gets turned into a gargoyle herself. Uh, she's actually, um, so there's a character, a magical character named Puck. And so Demona wants to get rid of all the human beings. He's a bit of a trickster. So when she says, I want to get rid of all the human beings, he, he doesn't take her words literally. He kind of like, uh, you know, he kind of uh, imagines whatever it is that she means. So she, he, the, the character actually ends up turning um, uh, Elisa Maza. Actually, he goes, I, I, can't, I can't get rid of all the humans. Like, my powers have limits. She, and then and she goes, well, can you at least rid me of that human? And pointing at Elisa Maza, um, you know, an image through, the, through the, the mirror, the magical mirror that they're looking at. And so Puck actually ends up changing her into a gargoyle, which was a pretty cool and neat episode. But let's go ahead and get into um, her accessories. All right, so here we've got all of the accessories. Here is once again the cat that she comes with. Again, this is a cat that stays in her apartment. I don't remember the cat's name, but the cat's not really relevant in the story at all. But, um, you know, pretty, it's okay as far as an accessory, right? What else What else are you going to give her, um, you know, to make up for the... Uh, the lack of size, right? So that's probably one of the things, right? You've got the other gargoyles, which are bigger in size, so that means more material to make it. This character is smaller, so there's less material to use, right? So they're adding in some things, right, to kind of even it out as far as the price and so on and so forth. She comes with a number of hands. She's got like a semi-closed left hand and right hand. Um, she's got one. It almost looks like this is for a gun, but... I don't recall seeing a gun on the, uh, <clears throat> as far as the accessories go, I'm looking at the package and there's no gun. So that's one thing I would have liked to have seen here. Probably due to the, uh, you know, the things that are going on in the world, the, the company didn't want to put a gun. I don't understand. Uh, there's lots of action figures that come with guns. Hasbro does the G.I. Joe line, etc., etc. So it doesn't make sense to me why a gun, but, you know, maybe they're just trying to be politically correct, I guess, or being sensitive, uh, depending on how you look at it. But I, 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 me personally, I would have liked to have seen a gun. That's what a policeman has. They have guns. They have a handgun. Um, detectives, right? So, uh, you know, that would have been good to have here. Uh, her badge, awesome. I really like this. Um, I guess she can hold it in one of these hands. Let's see if we can put it in there. Yep, yep, that fits right there. So you can have her holding her badge and showing her badge, right? And then she's got the flashlight as it shows on the um, on the package, right? Not sure which hand would be best to fit that on, but but there you go. And she comes with two faces. <clears throat> she comes with two heads, right? I like look at the the sculpting on this hair. This is phenomenal. This is this is really nice work. Really like how it flows. So it's almost like there's there's air, right, going through her, her hair, which actually I would prefer this one, to be honest with you, versus the relaxed hair. And then you've got this face that it comes with, which is a smirk. Not very different than her regular face, but there's a little smirk to it. You could see the, the curling of the lip on the side here. So really nice. I like it. I like the seriousness uh, of her look also, but it's cool to have that smirk as well. Um, you could probably, yeah, let's see if, I think I, we can change it out with, I'm going to try and change it out. <clears throat> if I feel like it's too difficult, I'm not going to do it because I rather not. Oh, there it goes. Came right up. All right. So let's put her. There it goes. Real simple. Oh, I like that much better, actually. I like that look a lot better. 
So there you go. Those are the accessories that she comes with. Not a whole lot. And oh, let's not forget the uh, the Brooklyn wings. So I'm actually going to get uh, Brooklyn in here on our next uh, segment. All right, and let's go ahead and move these aside. And here is Brooklyn with his folded wings that she comes with. And as you can see here, he looks really nice. And that's going to save me a lot of shelf space because, to be quite honest with you, with the wings that he had on before, um, he fell. <laughs> Uh, he fell because I, I, I not not because he's not sturdy enough, but it's just that I don't have a, a whole lot of room on there. So any movement or any vibration, and uh, they bump into each other. So we'll also put her, her meaning Elisa, next to Goliath, her good friend Goliath, right? Life is pretty heavy. So he's got his folded wings, right? And you could see three of them here. Nice, nice set. Again, if uh, if if you're able to, these are some really these are some of the nicest figures I have ever um, owned, to be quite honest with you. Far, far uh, uh, beats the um, let's cut his tails back here. Beats the um, the Hasbro stuff, right? I I, I really gotta say um, the the level of detail, the sculpting. Uh, really, really nice. Now her sculpting isn't as detailed as the others, and that's okay. It has to be like that because these guys are really muscular, right? And she is not. She's not supposed to be, right? She's a, a, a female who is a detective, but she's not monstrous, right? Um, she's not monstrous like uh, like the characters. Now if we compare her to Demona, right? Demona has a lot more muscle tone. Uh, then, then Elisa naturally because she's a gargoyle and gargoyles just have uh, it seems like a much denser muscle structure than a normal human being. Same thing if you compare Matt Bluestone, let's say to uh, to Goliath, Goliath is just going to be ridiculously much stronger than than Bluestone again because it's gargoyle anatomy versus normal human anatomy. So again, these are just really, really nicely sculpted. I really like really like the fact that Elisa is just uh, you know a, an addition to the character to the to the collection. Uh, she might not be like as as cool as the gargoyles themselves because they're obscure characters But I mean if you if you watch the show if you grew up watching the show like I did It's something that you've got to have you can't you can't have the gargoyles without Elisa So I'm so glad that they actually made her I'm looking forward to the other characters that they've made uh, whether they're human or not They're even they've even announced some additional uh, characters that are not like part of the main line like your main line is is Goliath, Brooklyn, Broadway, Lexington, and Hudson and Bronx, right? Those are your main cast. And then eventually Angela joins the team, but they travel to a magical island where there's a, a bunch of other gargoyles, right? They were the the hatchlings that uh, that got left behind back in medieval Scotland. And so one of the characters there is Gabriel, and they're actually uh, doing him. Another character that they're doing is Cold Stone, which is like a rookery brother of uh, Goliath. So, man, I'm so excited. I hope they continue with the line. I hope we can s continue to see more villains. Um, but overall, again, really nice figure. I mean, each and every one of these figures that NECA has done has been a home run, in my opinion. Um, everything from the sculpting uh, to the level of detail to the accessories that they come with. Um, I think it's just right. I mean, I'm nitpicking when I say I would like a gun. Uh, just because she's a detective, and that's that's what I would. But anyhow, I can get one from from one of the Hasbro toys and whatever, and and, and give her one. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, um, but there's nothing else other than that that I would want. Even with these characters, the only critique that I would have with the entire line, right, would be the closed wings, open wings. You have to purchase another figure to get the wing. I know some people might not like that, but heck, you're getting the same price point. And you're getting two sets of wings, right? So it kind of evens itself out. I know it's it's a little bit confusing, and I get it. Um, but but whatever. I plan on collecting the whole set, so to me it doesn't matter. Um, but but some of you guys may want some and not the others, and so it's a bummer if you have to do that. Um, you know, I, I I get it from that point. So it would be nice to have uh, you know both of the wings uh, come together for each of the gargoyles, and then and then if 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 that if that were to happen, then you know she would be a lower she should be a lower price point or come with more accessories. Again, I don't know what more accessories you you can make 
you know, with her. But but anyhow, hopefully they'll actually make the the gargoyle version of her from that from that one episode. That would really like that that would be you know a really cool thing uh, from my perspective. But anyhow, guys, if you guys have picked these uh, action figures up, let me know what you guys think about them in the comments. If you haven't, you're thinking about it. Let me know. Uh, is there anything that I can answer for you to help you make that decision? Uh, the price point is a little bit high. It runs you about 40 to 50 bucks, depending on where you're buying it from. But I, I do think they're worth it for what you are getting. Uh, the, the quality is just uh, impeccable. So, guys, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Until next time, take care. Peace out. Till all are one.